Hey, hey there, Cube Gamer here, and today we're gonna be playing some Animal Crossing on the channel today. I have actually never played this game before. Um, I know everybody always talks about how great Animal Crossing is. That's like one of the few franchises that I missed out on on the GameCube. Um, you know, well, not a few. There was a couple of them. I was, you know, I was giving myself a little more credit than I deserve. We like to go into the past on this channel and uh, play a lot of GameCube games and uh, PlayStation games and all that kind of stuff. And I'm looking forward to uh, trying this one out and seeing if all of you are overhyping or if it actually is worth the credit. All right. I'm sure it's fine. Don't shoot me. All right. I was just kidding. I'm sure it's wonderful. All right. We'll find out. By the way, this guy who has been sitting here playing the guitar for like five minutes while I ramble, he is very close to being a uh, hate crime. Uh, you've decided to move out, get your own place, see the world. He just smokes a cigarette like, You ain't got what it takes, kid. Just give up on your dreams. All I could do is play these three chords. You don't know what it's like on the outside, kid. You can do what you want, when you want, where you want. Yeah, I like the sound of this, all right. Yeah, living on your own, being free feels great. Until the drugs kicked in. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm making this a lot less wholesome. By the way, can I point out that your eyebrows, I mean, maybe you want to tweeze those a little bit. Your eyebrows are way too thick, brother. Reminds me of Mike guy from Naruto. Oh, I guess I'm kind of rambling. My bad. No, dude, don't worry about it. I was rambling for like 20 minutes before this, so that's fine. So are you ready to hop on that train and go for a ride? Later. <laughs> They have that like Foops Foogly's voice, and then, and then they. Oh my God, that cat is extremely scary. What the hell? It's got demon eyes. Hmm. Uh, excuse me. Do you have a second? No. Uh, for when you look at me like that, absolutely not. No, I don't. Could you help me out? Is it? Let's see now. 6:28 p.m. on Saturday, September. How the hell do you know? How do you know what time it is? Wait a minute. You. You're too kind, really. You're a big help. <laughs> He's even got an evil laugh over your freaking creepy dude. Say, by the way, what's your name? Oh, I really don't want to give my name to this guy. Um, there you go, Mr. Butt. Well, hmm, Mr. Butt. Now that is an odd name. Stop laughing at me, okay? That that is like, that is the name of my family. All right, that is a generational name. I, the, how dare you? What matters is, do you like the name Mr. Butt? Isn't it cool? Isn't it cute? <laughs> I think it's pretty cool. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say it was odd? It's not odd. Yeah, that's right. Okay, now you turn back. Now that I say it's cool, huh? It's a great name for a boy, really. It's, uh, it's a really great name. <laughs> I'm not a boy. Oh, whoops, you're a girl? Oh, how embarrassing. Yep, real awkward. <laughs> I ought to apologize. By the way, if you don't mind me asking, where are you ha- Oh, God, now I'm stuck with it. I guess I'm a girl now. Uh, enter my destination. What? Where, I guess, where I want to be, what I want to live in. Um, you're going to... <laughs> you're going to Skull, Lightning Bolt, Weird, Creepy Person, and Thor's Hammer? That's right! Hey, I know that place. You're fucking lying, okay? That was a ploy to see if you knew what you were talking about. Oh, yeah, that's one of my favorite vacation spots. What are, what are you going to, you know, <laughs> just put in freaking static noises. <laughs> For... <laughs> I like to think that's what it was. It's just like just static noises. You haven't found a place to live yet? Why is he such an asshole? What? You haven't? You can't just show up with no place to live. We better find you a pad. In fact, why is it we? I met you for three seconds and now it's we? Of course, duh. A good friend of mine runs the shop and <laughs> let me give you a let me give him a ring. You wait right here. God damn, he's a fucking creepy bastard. Like, let me just lock the door. Hey there, Nook. It's me. Well, it's a crazy world. Anyway, as I was saying, I have someone here who wants to move to... The kid's name? Why? Oh, it's Mr. Butt. <laughs> Freaking Nook's probably like, are you sure this guy's not taking you for a ride, dude? Okay, I'm back. Miss me? No. Meow. Oh, because he's a cat. I was like, why does he keep saying meow? Like, meow. Meow. Instead of what cat's way of saying like, yeah, buddy. Would it be meow, buddy? Okay, whatever. Oh, that's me, I guess. Now arriving at...
Welcome to Watch your step. Eek, eek. Tom Nook, excuse me. Hey, 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 you there. Yes, you. Okay, calm down. I did. And what the hell is this? Would your name happen to be Mr. Butt? <laughs> Look, buddy, I'm out to you and you. Uh, better keep me your real name or else I can rent property to you. Maybe small, but I have a house you can move into right away. Should more than suit your needs. Mm. I swear to God, all I hear when they talk is the, like, the freaking spy kids. Floops, fooglies. Yeah, those guys where they talk backwards. I can show it to you now, so come along, let's scuttle. What the hell are you supposed to be, a raccoon? He looks like a, I don't know, like an anteater had sex with a friggin' raccoon and then also maybe a bear? I don't know what the hell he is. I can most heartily recommend any of these houses. Take your pick. Feel free to take a look inside, really. I don't mind. Not in the least. Why do I feel like this is like a gated community and they all look the same? The doors don't have any locks. Just stand in front of the door and press A. Whoa, don't you worry. Uh, looking at you fucking creepy bastards that I've met so far, um, I'll definitely be installing my own locks. Don't you worry about that. Yeah, I'll take the red house, thanks. Take a good look inside, and please bear in mind, it's a little how you say it, cozy. Mm -hmm. Yes, cozy. Oh my god, I'm living in a fucking doghouse, man. What is wrong with this guy? There's no music in it. Oh, okay. Why would I assume that the stereo that was left in here for free <laughs> would have a free CD in it? I know, that's fucking stupid of me, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's, it's great. I noticed there's no toilet in there either, so that's nice. What do you think? How was it? Hmm? It's okay, I guess. <laughs> oh, really? Alas. Oh well, take your time. He just doesn't give a shit. He's like, oh really? Well, I don't really give a shit. You gave me your money. Who cares? Have a look at the others. Why don't you? I mean, they're all the fucking same, aren't they? Oh, this one has metal grating. Or did the other one have metal grating? Yeah, it's great. Whatever. I don't care. Yeah, mm -hmm. I didn't really want the red one. I wanted the, you know, I, I, I wanted the, like, the slightly peach-colored roof. That was a lot better. Thanks. Now, let me see. I suppose you'd like a quick rundown of your house. So listen carefully, please. As you can, no doubt, see, the house doesn't have any furniture in it at all. Yeah, it's quite bare, I'm afraid. Anything, uh, anything you need, you'll have to get on your own. Obviously, you can't expect me to furnish the place for you. Doesn't take much. I literally think I'll get my bed in there, and then it's that's it. That's all for the space. But don't try to mess around with other folks' things. Well, not that you can. Ha 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 ha. Okay, that wasn't that funny, dude. And that marks the end of my explanation. Oh, does it now? No, no. Oh, do you perhaps wish to hear that last three hours again? No, no, I'm good, thanks. With fees and closing costs, this house comes to 19,800 bells? What? What kind of fool do you take me for? And what the hell? We have to carry around little bells as our currency? Is that what it is? Give him a thousand bells. <laughs> That's all I have. Here, you know, here, you get a thousand. That's all you get. Not nearly enough, yeah, I was gonna say. I thought he was gonna I thought he was gonna get tricked for that for a second. You know what happens to people who don't have money, don't you? I'll tell you. They can't buy a house. Oh my god, I thought he was about to say, you know what happens? We break their legs. Well, you still need a place to stay, don't you? Yeah, I, I really do. Yeah, you're just gonna throw me out on the fucking street because I don't have the other 18 grand? Then here's what we'll do. You'll just owe me money. You can work part-time in my shop to pay off the rest. Yeah, that's acceptable. Oh god, now I'm already into fucking indentured servitude, I see. Nook's cranny. That is that is hilarious, a nook and cranny. That's funny. Well, finally, you arrived. What took you so long? Why is this guy an absolute dickhead? <clears throat> By the way, you have a picture of yourself, or is, does everybody in your family look the exact same as you? I was starting to wonder if you'd show. Only kidding. Yeah, get the <clears throat> fuck out of here. You weren't kidding. That's better, yes. You look like you were born to wear that uniform. Okay, you are such a creepy... I don't know, he, he gives me, like, creepy-ass vibes. First off, I want you to go plant some trees and flowers around my shop. Okay. When you're finished, come and tell me. Yes? Alright. Yes, sir. I'll go out and work this off. Okay. How the hell do I plant anything? Oh, okay, I can just plant it like that. What if I just plant them all in the one spot? Jesus Christ, how much frickin' plants do you need here, man? It's probably because they're supposed to cover the whole entire, you know, all the way around the house. But there you go. I'll plant it right here and right here. 
behind these uh, trees and shrubbery so no one can see it. So did you make it look a, a little nicer out there? Gave the ground some charming character, hmm? Yeah, that's, yeah, sure I did, yep. Just don't go outside, whatever you do. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, so I won't bother asking how you chose where to plant everything. Yeah, that's, that's probably for the best. After all, I'm not the one who will get laughed at when travelers from other villages see your work. Oh. Oh, I see what you did there. Man, this guy is a master asshole. <laughs> now, let's just see here. That little chore was worth, uh, let's call it 80 bells. That's it. Okay, hold on. Let me just calculate this out for a second here. Okay, I think I owed 18,800 divided by 80. And I would literally need to freaking plant 235 gardens for this asshole. Just to freaking pay for that shitty shoebox. Wait, just a moment. Something just struck me. What? You just moved to But you haven't introduced yourself to all the townsfolk, have you? I'm going to give you a little break. Oh, I can't even get paid for this shit. It's off the clock. Wow, thanks, man. I didn't really well, definitely didn't want to get paid for introducing myself to strangers. That yeah, I love doing it for free. That's wonderful. Yeah, I hope everybody is just as pleasant as you. Step over all these flowers that I just planted for him. That's great. There you go. And I'll be on my way. Hi! Tortimer? <laughs> I love that name. Eh? What? Who are you? Tell me something. Who do you respect the most? I respect my grandpa. You remind me a lot of him. Well now, have my wizened old looks uh, inspired respect? You may be young, but you have a keen eye. Okay. That was the weirdest conversation. You, Who do you love out of these family members? Yeah? Do I inspire you? What? Even though I said I like my grandpa, doesn't mean you're my grandpa. What? My name is Tortimer. I happen to be the mayor here in quite a big job. Yeah, you, yeah, it seems like a lot of hustle and bustle happens here, isn't it? You seem like a decent sort. Whenever there's a holiday or an event going on in town, why don't you come see me? Yeah, I'm, I'm good, thanks. I'm sure I'll have some interesting stuff to pass on. Yep, I surely will. <laughs> God, they, everybody thinks their fucking jokes are like so hilarious here. Bug, 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 bug. Bug. Oh, I'm surprised it didn't kill itself in that little bit of water. Get him. 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 Aw, oh, he disappeared. Hi, how are you? I have to meet you. I'm legally required. Good evening to you. Let's be careful. Oh, he seems like he's a cop, but he looks like he wants to be like a military guy. Let's be extra careful when you're, uh, when we're walking alone at night. The darkness is suspicious. Tell me. How else can Officer Copper be of assistance? Yeah, Officer Copper. Okay. Where's uh, silver and gold? <laughs> Hi, Mr. Owl. Are you about to tell me how many licks it takes to get to the Tootsie Roll Center of a Tootsie Pop? It's so very nice to see you. Blathers. Yes, well, by the by, the by might there be something with which I can assist you with? Nope, nothing. I just wanted to introduce myself. I'm legally required. I'm in debt, so you you, you, you know how it is. Yes, well, very well then, actually. Oh, this is terribly embarrassing. To be honest, we have nothing on display at this time. Dreadful, really. Okay. What we have here, when you cut to the quick... When you when you cut to the quick... Who the fuck says that? Is a rather large, expensive, and thoroughly empty box. Oh, well, besides the large part that's basically explaining my house... Uh, really small world here. There's not much to go on in this town, is there? Hi, Mabel. Oh, you're, you're making yourself laugh too, aren't you? Come on in. Welcome to Abel Sisters, where you are the famous fashion designer. Okay. Well, I talk to you and talk to you. Hi, Sabel. Okay, you don't talk to me. Okay, can you please excuse me? Thanks, I just need to... Thanks again. You come back now. Okay, yeah, that's great. Y'all come back now, here? <laughs> Okay, I think that was it. All right. So did you meet everybody in town? Quite a motley crew, yes, but variety is the spice of life. Okay, yeah, that's great. If you don't get along well with the folks here in... <laughs> You'll never fit in, you understand? But never fear, I have a good feeling about you. Hmm. Now then, what shall I have you do next? Ah, uh, yes, I need you to deliver some furniture. Hmm. At last, it's like you, uh, like you're actually working in the shop. It's like I'm working in the shop? Wait a minute, I'm supposed to be working here to pay off my debt, don't you remember? <laughs> Is this all orientation? Take this furniture to Olivia in Acre D2, okay? And don't sniff the roses on the way, go straight there and come back. Look, dude, there's no way I can go straight anywhere with the layout of this town. 
All right, I think it's this way. I'm probably gonna get lost again. It took me so long to meet everybody because this like it literally shows you like a quarter of the friggin map like an eighth of the map and then like every time you move it just juts over to another section there you are olivia hi mr butt what is it Brrr. but let's get right to the point what can i do for you Brrr. delivery ma'am here you go bitch i got you a fucking leaf <laughs> there you go even though we're just covered in them all over the place, I had to. I bet you wanted to pay top dollar at his store for some reason at Captain Asshole's Emporium. Why, that's mine. Why do you have it, Mr. Butt? Are you working for Tom Nook or something? Oh, you are? How amusing. You mean to tell me you don't have enough money to buy a house when you moved? Are, is she going to make fun of me now? Are you serious? I'm in a uniform and you're making fun of me for having to work for a living? Tee hee hee hee. Well, how silly. Brr. Were you the mental runt of the litter or what? Holy shit! The disrespect! Oh, the disrespect! What's wrong with him? I just bumped my head. He's a bitch ass human! Oh, the disrespect! <laughs> you must not have any money to buy furniture. Don't be ashamed. Here, take this ponderosa bonsai. Brrr. Yeah, thanks, ma'am. Wonderful. You simply must take it. I bet you go home to a sad little empty house every day, don't you? Brrr. Wow! It's like, bitch, I live in a. Trash can. I'm the poorest motherfucker. On Nobody's helping me. But remember now, don't skip work to play around in your room. You've got a job to do. Jesus Christ, calm down. Holy shit. Everybody just like is happy to employ eight year olds to do their bidding. Like, then they make fun of them for not being able to own a house. Hey, boss. How's it going? Yeah, I gave her the leaf. Yep. I'll, I'll be taking my five freaking bells now. Thanks. You did a great job. So I figured that earns you, oh, say, 230 bells. Not bad wages. Mm. Oh, yeah. It's wonderful. Hmm. What's that? You say it's too difficult to try to find things without a map? Yeah, it is. Honestly, kids these days and their constant complaints. Oh, my God, dude. Dude, I literally am just getting lost in the woods. I haven't eaten. I can't eat the cherries that I find. Like, you keep telling me to get rid of them anytime I pick any food. And then you throw me, you just take me off the train that I stowed away on, slap a uniform on me, and throw me out into the woods with no map. What the hell do you expect? Okay, here's a map. Press the X button to look at it. Should serve you your needs just fine. Holy shit, this is going to help me so much. Your next job is to write some copy for a direct mailing. What? Your next job is to write some copy for a direct mailing. You know, so sort of a personal advertisement. Jesus Christ, now I'm freaking advertising for him. Jesus. I want you to send it to Bob, who lives in an acre somewhere in row B. It's just good business. Bob is a very loyal customer, so this is a notice of, all, of a special sale. As for what you write, well, I'll just leave it up to you, Mr. Butt. But try to make it exciting. Oh, and you might want to think about introducing yourself as Mr. Butt. Who works for me, yes? Dude, I'm wearing the uniform. Is that not food enough for you? Like, Jesus Christ, I'm wearing the uniform. Do you think that people just, are you that conceited? That you think that people just wear this Ooh. outfit no matter where they go? <laughs> just, well, how would people just assume you'd work here? That's just the style these days. I swear to f God, I'm literally going to burn his f shop down when I, get, when I pay off this debt. God, I hate my life. Hi, how you doing? Yeah, you know, I, oh, sorry, I'm, I am Mr. Butt. Uh, you might know me because I work for the Captain Asshole down the street. Yeah, you know, the guy who literally owns this whole f town. So what do you want? Oh, Jesus Christ. Mail a letter, I guess. I thought I had to go to the post office to mail something. No? What the hell am I supposed to be doing? I thought I was supposed to go to the post office. What is this? Oh, I have to write the fucking letter. Please help me. I'm being held against my will and forced to work for crackers. Bob. Yes, that'll be okay. Sincerely, Mr. Butt. Send it to Bob. Yes, yes. In it goes. So, is that it? Or do you have some, some more? Jesus Christ, man. Look, I don't like my job either, but I'm pretty sure I have it way harder than you. You know, 401k, you know, life insurance, all that shit. Yeah, you got those? Yeah, I literally get paid crackers. That's all. I'm pretty sure that's not, a, like, at all what I was supposed to do. Alright, time to go get yelled at by my boss for not doing it right. Hi, boss. I definitely sent the email of your, uh, I sent a note of your advertisement. That's about it. Did you send the letter? Hmm? Good job! Took you longer than I'd have liked, so I'll have to dock you a bit. Uh, 
Dear Lord, that's the loudest profanity I've ever heard. But I'm glad you got it done. After all, if you can't even write a letter, you're going to have problems in this town. Yeah, you'll <gasps> have problems after some when the authorities get a hold of my letter. Oh, yes, well, I uh, haven't actually prepared the next package I need you to deliver. Hmm, I'm a bit behind. Oh, you're <gasps> fine, are you? Would you like me to work overtime and pay me nothing? Hmm. It would be a waste uh, for you to just hang around here and wait for me, so why don't you go and help out the villagers? You may find you can do a little better working for them than you can for me, but not much better. Hmm. Just be sure to come back here after a bit. Hmm. Uh, not only am I working off the debt with this guy, now he's freaking uh, loaned me out to other people. Jesus Christ. Hold a second, I'm just gonna go over to my calendar here and uh... September, write an entry. To whoever reads this, I can no longer live under these horrid conditions. I've decided to jump off the nearby town cliff. Sincerely, Mr. B Mr. Butt. P.S. Tom Nook should die of gonorrhea and rot in hell. Ugh, it won't even let me, man. Like, come on, dude. I'm not wanting to just let, let me end it. Let me end it. Uh, need any help, Poncho? What's going down? Well, I'll tell you one thing that did the sun. So what can I do for you, Mr. Butt? Need a favor? What? Really? Sweet. That'd be awesome. I, I haven't said what it, you haven't said what it is yet, okay? Like, I don't know what I'm helping you with. Like, oh, you'll help me with anything? Oh, that's cool, man. That's great. You gotta tell me what it is. Could you take this organizer over to Lobo's pad for me, little bear? Okay. It belongs to Lobo, but it must have gotten left at my place by mistake. Who knew, huh? Lobo lives right over there. <laughs> right over there. He just, you know, not even point. He just like looks at me, stares at me straight up and says, over there, figuring it, figure it out. What's up, Lobo? Hey now, it's you again, is it? Okay, yeah, the werewolf. Yeah, so what do you want? Yeah, here you go. Yep, give it to him. I forgot something? S slander! What are you talking about? Hey, what the? That's my organizer. Say what? I left it over at Poncho's place. Oh, no wonder I couldn't find the darn thing. Yeah. Sorry to put you out uh, like that, Mr. Butt. That was a big favor you did for me, so here, I want you to have this piece of furniture. Okay, that's great. I'll say this one last time. Thanks. If I have more stuff to do, I'll ask for your help. Again, be ready. Okay, that's... You. Every time you talk, it's just ominous. What are you guys doing over here? What's up, Bubbles? Anyway, what's up, Ipster? Uh, I want a job. Actually, Lobo still hasn't returned my sweet Game Boy, and I totally need it back. Don't you hate it when someone borrows something for, for of yours, but never returns it, Hipster? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, Tom Nook borrowed my innocence. It really steams my broccoli. If you know how to help, then please help me out, Hipster. Sure, why not? Yeah, I'll just go ask him. What's up, man? I, would li I know I was literally here three seconds ago, but you got that bitch's Game Boy? Hey now, it's you again, is it? Why are you here? I'm picking up. Oh, whoops. Are you going to take the Game Boy back to Bubbles? Yep. Well then, here it is. I truly appreciate it. Mr. Butt, how nice to see you again on such a fine evening, hipster. Anyway, what's up, hipster? Why do you keep calling me hipster, dude? I'm literally like nine. You know, I'd halfway given up on ever seeing it again. I'm so happy you came along, hipster. Stop. I've got just the ticket. Stationary. Hipster. It's the perfect gift for all occasions. Oh, great. You gave me paper. It's nice to know that there are people like you willing to go for the extra mile for a hipster. Okay. Yeah, I'm on that note. I'm getting the f*** out of here. You done loaning me out to people. Were you able to help anybody out? Uh, many animals need things. Hmm. Did you get anything good in return? The critters in town are all fairly generous, so you work... Your work never goes unrewarded. That's quite nice, right? Your next job will be... Ah, yes. Now I remember. You've seen the bulletin board in front of your house, haven't you? Well, I want you to write an ad for my shop on that billboard. You get foot traffic around there, yes? There's literally nobody that lives in that housing complex other than me. <laughs> you can write whatever catchy slogan you like. Just make sure it sounds exciting. Oh, yeah. I'll make sure to do that. And don't write anything that might embarrass me. Oh, I would never. I would never, dude. Why would you assume I would do that? Why, dude? All right, let's see here. Um, uh -huh. Is this okay? Yep. There you go. You don't have to dock my pay. Did it real good. Even if you dock my pay, I'm pretty sure that'll be worth it. Welcome back. Did you put a buzz generating ad up there? Something the animals will be talking about over the water cooler? 
Very good, yes, I suppose. Hmm. That means Yes, you're all done. All the work I hadn't uh hadn't gotten around to is now all done. How wonderful for me, hmm? Yeah, that's great. Everything's looking great for Tom Nook, isn't it? Yeah. Since I don't have any more work for you to do, I'm afraid I have no choice but to let you go. Hmm? The rest of your mortgage? Oh, of course. You still have to pay all of it off. That's how life works. Oh, ooh, hey, dude. Let me just have a look at my records. Hmm? Yeah, so far you've worked off a total of 1,400 bells. So you have 17,400 bells left to pay. Not exactly a sum to sneeze at, hmm? Oh, my fuck. Since there's no more work for you here, you'll have to figure out how to pay it off on your own. Okay, thanks. So you won't even let me pay it off, really. You'll just, like, pay off, like, a quarter of it to get your shit done. And then you're like, well, figure it out. Well, thanks for your help. I hope you'll come see me for all your future shopping needs, hmm? Why are you excited? You only paid for, like, a sixteenth of that. Finally done working. I'm free! I'm free! I'm free! Yeah, he's a fool idiot. He doesn't even realize, like... He doesn't even realize how much he still owes. Okay, that just flew right into my face. What the fuck? This bug won't leave me alone. Yeah, I got bit by a mosquito. Man, that really itches. Okay, that was fucking creepy. Okay, anyway, I thought he went he went inside my head and bit me. That was weird. Oh, they didn't tell me this was literally like, I don't know, it's like super capitalism simulator. Holy shit, they should have just changed the name to that. But uh, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was uh, it was a, it was an ordeal. It was a journey. It was a journey of I was gonna say self discovery, but no, I think the only thing we discovered is how much of a asshole that Tom Nook guy is. But um, curious to see what this kind of series uh, you know brings you. If there's like any upside to this shit, <laughs> I'm sure there is. I just don't have it in me to find out what that is tonight. So I think I'm done for now. Please leave a like, comment down below, tell me what you think. Take it easy, guys.